안녕하세요. 저는 로키입니다. Welcome to today's video, Luckies, where we are going to be reacting for the very first time to some Nine Muses over here on YouTube. And today's video is very special because it is Generation Tuesday for starters. And also on top of that, because this is a special request that goes out to Logan from the Sun tier over on Patreon. So I really quickly just want to say, Logan, thank you so much, my man, for this amazing request. I really, really freaking can't wait to get into this one because I've been wanting to check out Nine Muses for quite some time. Now, I have heard heard uh, some of their songs in passing. There is quite a lot of second gen music of course which I've still got left obviously to get to over here on YouTube and of course over on Patreon which is why we do Generation Tuesdays but I don't really know uh, too much about Nine Muses other than uh, the only member that I know is the lovely Yuseta or Seda Yu and she is also a reactor over here on YouTube as well one which I am subscribed to and really enjoy watching so do definitely go and check out her channel of course if you guys are interested in seeing what a former K-pop idol or at least rather still someone who is in the industry uh, thinks about you know modern Korean music and the K-pop industry at the moment as well do go and give her a look links will be to the links to her channel can I even speak English links to her channel will be in the description below so do go and check that out but today we have got four MVs which have been requested we have got dolls we have got glue we have got ticket and we have got wild I don't know why I read them in that order so I'm really Really excited for this one y'all I don't really know too much else and so I don't really have too much else to say of course if you guys want to go and check out the patreon do go and give it a look uh, links will, for that will be in the description below as well but without any further ado let's get into dolls let's give it a massive old like let's go full screen start our reaction in three two one let's go all right all I know is I've always heard really good things about nine users oh the horns Hey, hey. Oh, dude, it's got a good beat already. Oh, that guitar. Hey, oh. Like the, the body rolls already? Shit. They're really pretty. Hey. Beautiful voices. Wow, Sera. No way up for you. Wow. Let's go. Oh, the choreo. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, dude, the, the choreo is so fun. Their voices are gorgeous. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, let's go. I, I have to say as well, I love that strumming guitar in the background. I know it's like really simple, but it just works so well with this beat. Let me check as well. Okay, okay. I was gonna check if I had subs for you guys, but I don't. Oh. Hey, I'm on normal trial. Hey, 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 dude. I'm actually mad that I haven't listened to them earlier. Hey, I'm sorry that I don't know any members except for Seda. They look amazing. Ooh! Hey, hey! Get it, rap line. Yeah! Oh! Wow! Oh, the wink! Good wink, Kati! Hey, hey! Dude, what a ball! She can eat in a man. Hey. Oh. Dude, this just makes you want to bop along. Hey, hey. Oh. 
Oh, dude, I love, I love this choreo. Hey. Oh, god damn. Well, I have things to say, man. First off, they all look amazing. I don't really know uh, at this time because what was this? That was that was twenty thirteen, right? Twenty thirteen. Also, why am I not subscribed? Twenty thirteen. Yeah, so, okay, 2013, that is exactly it. It's not like a later upload version. So, Dolls 2013, I don't really know um, how old, like what the age range must have been back then, but what I can say for sure is that they all look really, really beautiful. Um, I think that, I can't remember, there was like, was there quite a big age difference in Nine Muses? I can't remember. I've heard like bits and pieces, obviously, you know, throughout the years from everywhere about them. I've heard so much from different people, uh, especially like fans of Nine Muses, but I feel like sometimes I get my information a little bit mixed up. So please do obviously clarify for me down in the comments if you guys can. But dude, this song was a bop. This was so goddamn fun. Like you really like, really just want to kind of move with it. I think that this choreo, like this choreo, just even with the hands, is probably my favorite thing ever. Like, it's just so goddamn fun. And then, of course, on top of that, like, we've got those horns, we've got that guitar, we've got that beat, and it's just, like, consistent as well. I love how it just keeps on moving, and it just makes you keep on moving too. I really, really enjoyed that. But now we have got glue. Let's get straight into it. Let's give it a like. Full screen. Let's go. Here's that guitar again. What is that? The effect on the voice? Hey, is that a talk box? Hey, hey. Is that a talk box they were using? Oh. Hey, hey. Say the body rolls though, my lord. It's like a very more um, mature concept, right? Hey, hey. I want to know the rappers' names. They're really good. Like they've got a real like punch to their voice. I love that beat. Oh, the the clap. Wow, dude. Set of facial expression. Oh, like the little like the hip turn on like the logo. So oh. oh. Wow. I really like um, the black outfits too. Like the oh, the vocals. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah. She get out of my brain. Oh, hit a queen. Hey, hey. Wow, get your notes, queen. Hey, hey. Dude. That's gotta be a talk box. I love that. That sounds so goddamn cool, but 
also on top of that, we've got like, you know, those black outfits, like the, um, the one where like, I think one of the members is like wearing a mink almost like it looks like a, like a mink coat looks so goddamn nice. And then like the jewelry, the way that they are like iced the hell out, they look amazing. But once again, we've got that really, really strong, very funky beat. And then on top of that, we've just got the guitar constantly strumming in the background. We've got, um, come on, think, I can't think. I literally can't think. We've got those horns, sounds absolutely incredible, but man, I'm living for the guitar. I'm living for the choreo. And I have a feeling, um, at least just off these two music videos so far, I can't say too much and I don't want to say too much about their concept just because I don't know Nime users obviously well enough, but it seems like um, this like more mature, sexier type concept seems to be um, what they were about, or at least what the company was trying to, to put out for them. I do know um, a little bit about, uh, oh God, I can't, I can't really think of any like very, very specifics, but I'm pretty sure, and I might be getting the group wrong here. I'm pretty sure um, that Nine Muses has actually been through quite a bit as well. Like there was, there was some stuff, like there was some issues and some um, things that were really difficult to manage at points with, with the company or with concepts. I can't remember exactly, um, you know, which it was. And I, I think that, you know, it's, it's obviously like really good to actually still see set up around and all of that type of stuff and see, you know, obviously how she's, um, you know, obviously created a career for herself and continues to obviously do that outside of nine users. And I, I really want to, uh, know what the rest of the members are doing as well, because they all seem incredibly talented. So if any of them have either gone into other groups or stayed in the industry and gone solo or something like that, I'd really be interested in checking out some of their stuff as well, because as we can hear here, here, here. Yeah, no, that's English. Yeah. As we can hear, comma, here, they are, yeah, like super talented. The rappers have really, really, really punchy raps. And also on top of that, um, the, the vocalists sound beautiful, man. They sound absolutely amazing. They're super strong. They seem to be able to hit really nice notes. And yeah, dude, I'm enjoying this entire thing so far. Like as far as the music is concerned, I think it's great. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know too much about uh, their history. I'm sure, of course, you guys will let me know a little bit more about that, uh, obviously down in the comments below, and I'm really looking forward to that as well. But without any further ado, we have got Wild or Wired. Let's get straight into it by going ahead and pressing play in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Do we have subs here? Oh, maybe we do. Maybe we do for you. Oh, beats different. Oh, the red lips, dude. This type of like. This. Oh! Oh, this beat! This reminds me of like how people used to edit photos like black and white with like a pop of color. Hey. It actually screams second gen girl. You got that love razor. Oh! God, set up. Oh, the beat sounds what? Wild, I guess, right? Hey, hey. Wow. Oh. Oh. Guess it, guess it. Oh. Did Sera, like, she have a whip as well? Is that a whip? Bro, we've got weapons? Like, my god. Is that an actual tattoo? Wow, man. They, their, like, visuals are so wrong I love it they've got so much power hey oh hey oh god jeez hey wow 
Wow, okay. Yeah, they're very much, like, these songs are very much more of a mature concept, right? I like the way that this song is actually different as well, though. Oh, we gone up? Hey! Flex your vocals, queens! Oh! Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'm pretty sure that's a whip. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my god. That was in fact wild. Oh, you know, I think I think one of the things that's really, really keeping me curious at this stage as well, beyond the beats, is just like what their concept is and to get to know their music a lot better as well. Because yeah, like obviously as we've seen in these three music videos so far, the songs have been absolutely dope. The music videos also are really dope as well, but the concept is very much, very, very similar. Um, I'm really excited to see what Ticket Ticket looks like, um, but yeah, I actually I actually really want to see what else they've done as well, and also you know even start listening to some of their B sides uh, after I've actually gotten into their title tracks a little bit more, so that I can really kind of delve into their sound a lot more. I think the thing is as well about like second gen groups, the thing that's amazing is like you know the beats never disappoint, like ever they never ever disappoint like. In, I mean, you know, there is some amazing stuff coming out right now. Like, the fourth generation of K-pop is crazy. Um, you know, all of these younger groups are just wild. Like, they are they are just, like, on some different stuff. Like, I don't know what they are being fed, but they are on some different stuff. Third gen is iconic. It is absolutely incredible. But second gen, like, it just has a very, very special place in my heart. And it's because, like, everything just worked. You know, like the production quality of stuff was still extremely good, obviously for the time, but also on top of that, the music just always works. It's just always, it always comes through. It always sounds good. I'm still like yet to find a genuinely bad second gen song or a song that I don't necessarily like. Like the, it just, it just, how can I put it? It hits all the right spots, but also might I say second gen girl groups really just hit the right spots. So yeah, I, I, I love the second generation of K-pop, man. The music's incredible, so there are no misses here. But anyway, we have got Ticket. Let's get straight into it. Let's go ahead and press play in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. I'll have some closing thoughts at the end for you guys as well, if you'd like to hang around. Okay. Is this a preview for the beat? One ticket, please. One way ticket only. Okay. It is a preview. Oh, what on earth are these outfits? Oh. Hey. Oh, what? This is so different from the outset. Hey, hey. Oh. Oh. Let's go. I'm keen to see how this will build. Like what we're going to build to. Oh, hey girl, kill it. Hey, hey. One way, take it one way. Hey, hey. One way, hey. Take it one way, take it one way. 
Hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, this sounds dope. It's very different. I like the concept change here too. Dude, that bass line, that... Like that stray guitar in the background. Oh, these outfits look crazy. Like, we military officers now, but we started off as... Was it ticket officers or police officers? Hey, hey. Oh. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. The whole the chorus is really catchy. Way, one way to get. Hey, hey. Oh, let's go. I really like this too. Like, go, oh, 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 oh. I love that. That ad lib is like so interesting, but it really adds like character to the beat. Oh, let's go. One way to get Oh, listen to that guitar going off Oh, 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 oh Oh, wow, that was, that was really something, man I really enjoyed Ticket, actually Just purely because of how different it sounded Like, have we gone in chronological order here? With these videos? I think we are uh, not quite we didn't quite go in chronological order but we're around like pretty much this is like all within one year i love that you know like within like a one year period we obviously got four bangers which sound great and the most recent one being uh i'm pretty sure it was i'm pretty sure it was ticket right so ticket is oh no it's not okay i'm, I'm cooked so the the recent one out of these would have been glue then we had uh, Wild earlier on that year. Then we had Dolls even earlier than that. And then we had Ticket pretty much like a year earlier as well. Okay, well, you know, I'm really excited to see basically what their uh, earlier sound is like because I'm not entirely sure when Nine Muses debuted. I don't know whether or not it was, was it 20, was it 2011? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll search it myself. I'll obviously figure it out by the time I've edited and uploaded this. But yeah, I, I don't really know when they debuted. But um, of course, I'm pretty sure 2012 was technically the start of third gen. Or it's like kind of like that, that teetering point between like second gen and third gen. So no one really knows what to call it. But nonetheless, anyway, I'm really excited to hear a lot of their earlier stuff. And um, I'm not entirely sure when the group technically officially stopped making music as Nine Muses, so um, I'll have to check those dates as well, but I want to listen to all of their titles, I can say that much. I really enjoy um, basically the, the beats that we've heard today, I really like their music, I think that it's really strong, it's very, um, it's very, it's like intense, powerful and fun in the same kind of sentence if that makes sense like it really just makes me want to like vibe and groove out i think that like musically they're very 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 talented like the um the vocalists seem to have really 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 uh great voices and they also seem to have quite a decent range as well just from what we've been able to hear so far also on top of that their tones are really really nice as well because i mean you know we've got these really intense songs and i mean you need to have at least as far as like I am aware I am not a musician or trained as a musician in any way shape or form but you know like I think that to do harder things you have to have like a relatively um, and when I say harder I mean like stronger types of concepts with like very strong songs you have to have like a pretty versatile range to be able to you know obviously do that like no one just has a voice that's just like suited to that if that makes sense as well so I'm really excited to hear um, basically how much like how versatile their voices are in terms of their range and obviously what types of songs that we do. I would love to hear 
um, like slower ballad type songs as well and see uh, whether or not we venture into that territory as well. If we don't, then that is perfectly okay as well because every group has its own like signature sound at the end of the day anyway too. But I'm really excited obviously to check that out. Uh, on top of that too, I really enjoyed uh, the MVs as well. I mean, this is just one thing with like, I would say just second gen MVs in general. Like I, I always find them really fun. Like whether it's just tiny little points about uh, you know the editing that kind of makes me a little nostalgic for that time like wild like you know we start off with like the grayscale it's like grayscale but we obviously have like the red lipstick to really highlight the red lipstick and just red accents and all of that type of stuff it really reminds me of like how people used to like you know photoshop photos like that and all of that type of stuff and upload them around that time but also on top of that you know we have um these these really cool looking outfits that they're in uh, as far as i'm aware the first three are like a more mature concept and obviously we've moved on to that after ticket era so uh, perhaps that's the concept style that they moved Two, I'm not entirely sure and I did mention a little bit earlier that I don't know too much about the group but I have heard things in passing um, about you know some things that would have happened with uh, the company and all of that type of stuff and I mean people don't really like talking about companies and I find that that is perfectly 100% like absolutely un understandable so of course um, I will actually probably do my own research on that anyway so of course if no one wants to talk about it uh, down in the comments then that is a-OK -okay because um, out of respect to the members, we don't, don't obviously want to bring any of that uh, up, especially if it's traumatic because I know that there are plenty of instances where, um, you know, some companies have just not done the right thing. Uh, so I don't know about that, but I do think that I have heard um, of things relating to that anyway. But anyway, we'll obviously get into that a lot later. But do let me know, obviously, if you guys would like to down in the comments below, anything uh, that I have asked, uh, if you've obviously got the information for it, I really, really appreciate that. Also, I just wanna say uh, thank you, Logan, so much again for your absolutely incredible request, man. This was so goddamn fun. It was way, way funner than I was expecting because anytime I kind of check into a new group, especially if they are second gen, I always think like, oh, you know, I really wonder what they're gonna be like. And then part of me is like, um, you know, I wonder if they're going to fit my sound and, you know, if they fit my style. But then I always just kind of remember that my style and my taste is pretty broad. So, <laughs> so I wind up, <laughs> I wind up pretty much liking almost everything anyway. But um, yeah, K-pop is a genre anyway, I think is my vibe. But uh, yeah, I, I really, really appreciate this. And I really appreciate you guys for tuning in today as well. So of course, if you enjoyed it, then subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more of my nine muses reactions or any more of my second generation K-pop group reactions as well, because we do them every Tuesday over here on YouTube. So Gen Tuesdays is the name of the series. I will have a playlist created for nine muses as well. Um, but of course, this is my first video for them. So it'll just be this one for the moment, but do definitely go and check back from time to time to obviously see if I have updated any anything else as well. Like I said, I've got a Patreon down in the description, which you guys can go and check out as well if you would like to see my live stage reactions to some of these songs as well, because I will be putting some of them over there on Patreon later on this week. So do go and check that out. And last but not least, like I was saying before as well, um, one of the members said I do, uh, one of the nine members muses, uh, uh, nine members muses, wow, nine muses members, dude, I can't speak English, holy shit. One of the nine men, no, fuck, one of the nine Muses members, said I do, has a YouTube channel, um, which you should definitely go and subscribe to. So go and check it out. Link is down in the description as well. She makes some excellent reaction videos and she also makes um, some really excellent content as well, like some alternative content. She is pretty much the president of an inso of, uh, insomnia and as an insomnia myself, she is literally like living the dream <laughs> and then also on top of that she's done plenty of interviews with them she's done um uh interviews with uh rolling quartz as well if you guys haven't seen that too so yeah she makes really fun content so go and check that out but anyway this is over i love and appreciate you guys thank you so much for tuning in until next time take care and i'll see you in the next one cheers